Pack peelers, cracking packs and counting stacks. Go ahead and uh, like the video, share it out to your favorite social media. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So I've been looking for these 2020 Diamond King hanger boxes for a minute. Found some in Target, decided to grab them. Going to do an opening today, got Jay with me. See if we can't pull some ooey booey out of these. And uh, we're going to get to it. So we got five of them total. Spent a pretty penny on these bad boys, but want to kind of see what comes out of them. That's the one you wanted? The heavier light, I don't know. There we go. Man, that's got some serious plastique on it. Boy, that's that anti-theft plastic right there, man. That's annoying. So, we're going to kind of see what we got here. I don't know if it's actually like broken up in packs or if it's your standard, yep, one pack type of thing. All right, off rip with the hit. That looks like a thick ass card in the middle. So, they are just all uh, clear plastic packs, but it's one pack. Got Pete Alonzo on the front, Randy Johnson on the back. Got a lot right on the front. Damn. Autograph. Let's hope the, uh, the money inside of them is worth it. So I could see we got something in here. I'm going to assume it's a big old memorabilia card or something crazy um, just based off the fucking thickness. But red parallels that are hanger box exclusives for this set. Uh, I wasn't too impressed by the regular boxes. The first off the lines were amazing. I figured I'd do a video on some of these. I mean, we got names, man. Cody Bellinger. There's a Stan Musel from the front of the box. Old Teddy Williams. And there it is. Trace Barrera. 36 out of 50. Nice card. Double patch, man. That is a thick patch on that. So 36 out of 50. Double patch card with the foliage on the bottom. Not autographed, so it's kind of a dudley, but at least it's numbered. And it's a pretty low number too, man. So that's a nice card. There's our first it's hit. Stan Musial. Uh, artist proof. And then there's our red card, Joe Sewell. Oh, wow. Artist Proof times two. So we got a Billy Williams Artist Proof. We got a Stan Musial Artist Proof. They're just blue Artist Proofs. No uh, number on them. Red There's a nice red boy, Francisco Lindor. Old super short print on his, 134 and the red frame. And then we've got the insert sets and then a couple of rookies too. I guess it's a, a nice mixture. And then we got Roberto Clemente, Randy Johnson. All right. So first pack, pop the big old fat boy. Let me get these inserts out the side here. Jay not organizing inserts yeah, there. Fuck it. He don't care. Go ahead, man. Pop, pop you another, bro. Uh, we'll kind of see what we pull here, man. So first, uh, first box out the gate. We got a relic. Cannot complain. Let's see what else we get. Plastic is hideous sounding, ain't it? I'll this noise. I'm running, knocking bro. the hell out of the camera trying to cut these bad boys open. So, I do like these, man. Here we go. It looks like it's got a little thin boy in it. We'll see. I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I'm a fan of these clear packs because it's apparent that they know what's going in them. But old Vlad Guerrero, the senior on the back, old Hall of Famer right there, Diamond Kings. Don Larson on the front, another Hall of Famer. As always, man, I love these cards just because there's a Jordan Yamamoto rookie. We did pull his autograph patch before. We definitely got an insert in this one. Old Pete Rose. Goose Goslin. Buster Posey. Let's see what we got. Rico Garcia. Two pieces of napkin, but that is a jersey card. Non-numbered, just a basic jersey card, but not bad nonetheless. So that's two materials. Right out the gate. I don't know if Jason's pulled anything. Frank Thomas, artist proof. All right, Frank Thomas, artist proof. I got a Tony Garrett Cole, Gonsolin, Garrett Cole rookie, Cole. artist proof. Albert Pujols, 3,000 hit club. In the zone, Garrett Cole. Got a Frank Baker, old red King border. Griffey Jr., old monster. Uh, we got a... Uh, Got some cool stuff out of there. There's a Bo Bichette rookie, basic. Melot. Man, you keep doing that to me, man. What? Keep doing that shit to me. what I do? Take this inserts out, Bubby. You're killing me. You see him killing me over here? Killing me, Bubby. Melot's already on top of there, bud. They're what at the yours? back. There's inserts at the bottom. Oh. Mm. All right, last box to crack. Let's see what we're working with here. So, two pieces of memorabilia thus far. Hopefully, this one will have another one in it. Be nice if we had some ink on it. Don't like the napkins, but that patch one's phenomenal. Oh, would you looky there. All right. Hit after hit. 
I don't know if you could see that in the camera, but that nice little thick piece in the middle. That's uh, it's pretty fire, man. So not bad. I mean, out of five boxes, we pulled three inserts like hits. One is numbered. So Sam Hillard. Get through these real quick. Just the basic cards. Yogi. Oh, Randy Johnson. All right, there she is. Oh. Sam Hiller, double material. I like that too, man. The Rockies with the purple and the purple pinstripe. So that's an autographed double relic of Sam Hillard. It's non-numbered, but that is a really nice card, man. So not bad. Out of five boxes, we pulled three inserts. Well, there's our Eddie Stanky. It's Jason's nickname. This morning he was hella stanky. Red frame. Francisco Lindor, artist proof. I like that they give you an artist proof in each one of these as well. They're not numbered, so it's kind of BS. There's Juan Soto. Old, oh, and Ozzy Smith, ballpoint pin, baby. And another Francisco Lindor. So not bad all in all, man. I mean, we pulled a Trace Barrera dual patch number to 50. A Rico Garcia double napkin, non-numbered. And then we pulled the Sam Hillard with the ink, the pinstripe, and the purple dual relic autographed card. Uh, really cannot complain, man. Straight hits here. Very impressed. Glad that I bought these and did an opening. So make sure you go ahead and like the video. Share it out to your favorite social media. And until next time, Pack Peelers is out.